Spirit cards are a very open-ended tool, but we do have a couple of um, cards in the front, in the beginning of the deck, that tell you about different ways you can use the cards. And I'm gonna walk, walk you through a couple of those just so you get a sense of it. I'm gonna pull another one out from the deck and talk to you about how you might use an art card to look at it very specifically for what it is. Um, you can look at the scripture, read the scripture, perhaps go to your Bible and read before and after and put it into some context. You can look up the artist at their website, which should be right on the card, and read what they've said. And look at the art. I actually probably would look at the art first and look at it for a while. Like, what is this art? What is it about? What makes it interesting? So this piece is, um, it's a page from an old Bible in a language that I cannot read. And it looks like it, the Bible page was torn and then it was sewn back together. And then there are all these marks on it. I wonder if those were made first and that's what made it easier to tear, or I don't know. But it's stitched black, back with red thread and it's stitched back in a way that you can see the void between the two pieces, even though the page looks whole. So the materials used for this are a Bible page and probably graphite or something similar that can make a, a black line and can, a thin black line that can be dense can be put densely together or can be out in different directions. And the scripture, the scripture is 2 Chronicles 10, 16 to 19. It says, so all the people of Israel returned home, but Rehoboam continued to rule over the Israelites who lived in the towns of Judah. King Rehoboam sent Adoniram who was in charge of forced labor to restore order. But the people of Israel stoned him to death. When this news reached the king, whose name starts with an R, he quickly jumped into his chariot and fled to Jerusalem. And to this day, the northern tribes of Israel have refused to be ruled by a descendant of David. Okay. So this is about, and it's on the page of a Bible that is about the splitting of the Northern and Southern Kingdom. So that makes a lot of sense, that there is this ugliness, this, um, this scribbling, and that it was torn, and that the, even the red thread that is holding it back together, there's a, a void in between the two. That makes all the sense in the world from that scripture. Now I understand what she was doing. Let's see what she said about the piece. She said, each piece in this series is a prayer, a contemplation. I hold his words in my hands, meditate on it, use it to inspire, to illuminate his purpose. This body of work is created using pages from an antique Bible I acquired in Germany. I take each page and create a visual representation of God's message. Utilizing both personal and conventional symbolism, I layer meaning using a combination of many media and both abstract and representational elements. Each piece includes a thread as a mark-making element. Stitching on scripture becomes unspoken prayers. This piece specifically references the splitting of the two kingdoms of Israel and Judah. Sin and death have torn us apart, but the blood of Jesus binds us back together. And that's by Jenny Kimbrough, who does, I believe, all of her artwork based on scripture and is just an amazing artist. So that's another way you can use it. You can use these in a group or you can use them individually, like I'm doing right here. Um, in a group, you might have teams that work collaboratively or work competitively, depending on what you're using the cards for 
at the moment. But so far we've talked about matching and we've talked about using them one at a time.